and gentlemen, we are supposed to have a guest on the show today. Yes, and guess what? Uh, we don't. He showed on premiere sometimes last week. I think September fifth. Now we officially start uh, that show. Now just a ten minute show. I like the concept. I like the fact I say they come because you know. In as much as one thing about me is, if I want to learn. I like to go through the funny ways. Or if I want to make sure say I retain something from my head, I only just want to go through the funny ways. So I need to take come about the concept and all of that. Watch and let's talk. I've already told you guys, you know. So for those that have been watching it, kudos to you. You don't even hear today, this morning. But there will be a repeat broadcast of that. And it will be Shelley for 3 five uh today so if you had missed it in the morning please do all you can not to miss it again i will be talk to skype uh skype rather this afternoon and we'll go to talk about yes the new one where we just start the debut will be start last week uh yeah we officially started september 5th and uh and let's know the second edition the second uh name be go today on top of the channel so i just want to know i know he's a singer he's a social reformer and obviously he's the producer for the show. So I'm just, I, I really want to know so much, you know, first off, the idea, the concept, everything, everything. So if he's ready, can you guys just put him up and let's start. If Mr. Benga is there, good afternoon, sir. Hey, good afternoon. How you doing? Slimy T. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, to, well, go to see. I actually wanted to drag you down to the studio, but you know, island and mainland, so it's fine. No, you got the, you got the powers. I mean, I'm sure the right time you will do that. Oh uh, no, but then I, under, I understand you. You know, the whole schedule and stuff. So I just needed to allow you. But I'm gonna drag you back one of these days. So feels good to have you here. So let let your fans yeah. meet you now. We know you as a singer. Slimmy knows you as a singer, and I'm seeing you into something else. So let's meet you. Oh, well, I mean, like you said, my name is Benga. I mean, that's to my name. Um, my father's name is Adenuga. Um, I became Mr. Adenuga when I got married. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I call myself a maverick. I'm um, on a sort of team, I think, then. Um, I deliberately put myself in tough times, in tough situations, because I just want something better than normal. Um, and time and again, I get a of it and I'll, I will learn and I will be better for it. Okay, yeah, so that's me. okay, so that's you. But like I said, I I know you as a singer. So obviously, me, I'm curious to know what brought about the concept of watch and let's talk. <laughs> yes, now. <laughs> uh, okay, so yes. Um, so the, the every every everything heart is a tool. Singing is a tool. It's not an end in itself. It's supposed to take you somewhere. Okay. The focus, I believe that one of the, I believe that what I have actually created to be is to change situations and help people to become better. Mm. And I've used I've used my music to do that. I still use my music, but not as um, much as I used to. Okay. Um, I also do so. I, so basically, I use entertainment, events, and media. Okay. To, to change to change the world that's what I'm about so um yeah so that's it so I've I, I, I've set up a TV a, a production house um three years four years ago one in the bag and then two years ago one in Lagos mm. um because I know that content is important and, and we're all glued to content these days yeah. um I've always been a creative person I've been writing stories for the past six seven years so um so I just started to start what I've always wanted to do. Okay, so this is and what you've always wanted to do for us. Like I said, wouldn't that be music or is music that I know? But now this is actually deeper than the usual. Like I haven't seen something like this before. Like I watched one of the, uh, the episodes again yesterday, and that's now uh, the one. Let me let me go back to PG now. The one on Zacchaeus breaking your place, and you ain't finding that funny. <laughs> yeah, I know. and obviously people needed to relate, you know, people had to uh, hey. So I don't know, really, what brought it to? Were you ever in that position? What brought about the concept? I mean, so it's it's more like I tell stories from things I've gone through. Okay. I tell stories from things I've gone through. I tell stories from the things I'm going through. I tell stories from stories that I've heard. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's you fine. Know, um, so it's not like I've had that particular experience before, but the truth is that, you know, things happen and um, you're able to relate with it. 
Okay. If it's that, if I answered your question, I'm not sure I did. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think you've answered? <laughs> well. <laughs> okay, but then how, how do you think this is going to relate? Uh, because me, I'm more of. Um, you know, more feedbacks and more of um, how it's going to affect the, the society at large. So now, this your series, what, what impact do you think it's going to have on society? Or you are just doing it to entertain us? Well, yeah, it's entertainment, but I, I found out that we need to get some value out of entertainment. Let me tell you what I believe. I believe it's going to impact us positively. Okay. The first, there's this, so I started telling the stories during the COVID, when, when this COVID thing started. Um, I'll sit down with in the studio and I'm going to point three cameras to myself. <laughs> I'll record and I'll edit and I'll do everything. I did everything myself. But as we went on, I got more people to help me out because it was getting bigger and I needed more hands. Mm. So the first season was when I did all the stories myself. The second season was when I... No, the first season was when I, when I just related. I just, I just narrated the stories, right? Okay. After that, we started to ask the stories. I call that the second season. This is the third season. Now, the second season... The second season, I did a story on Teniola for one month. Oh, Right. Mm. So that was a teenager that got pregnant. Yes. Her mother also got pregnant and grandmother also got pregnant before marriage. Mm. And so we had this discussion for four weeks and I had people talk about children and upbringing and parenting. Mm-hmm. Let, me see, let me tell you the truth. That thing affected me and it changed the way I started to deal with my children. Mm. Right. It, the impact was so strong. Mm. And so if my production can affect me. I wonder what it's doing to other people. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Right. And and the reason, and that was the reason why we decided to put it on TV because I, I'm not putting it on TV because I want to get popular. No, I'm putting it on TV because I know that there are a lot more You're already on TV. TV. You've been on TV before I came on TV. As a singer, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But I mean, so I didn't put this color on TV because of anything. I put it on TV because a lot more people need to see this because the impact is huge. Yeah. Hmm. Now, talking about Zacchaeus, right? Mm-hmm. Let me tell you the truth. In the last two weeks, I've been very deliberate on the way I deal with people. Simply because I, I because I, one of the things I try to do in my life is that I, I'm not a talker, I'm a doer, right? Mm-hmm. So if I tell you that don't wear black, you will not see me wearing black. If I tell you don't do this, you will not see me doing it. So I check myself. I am very hard on myself mm-hmm. because I don't want to say, I, I don't want to call, call it correct you and find myself doing the doing same Doing the thing. same, I, yeah. Yeah. Right. So, everything that I'm talking about, I listen to the people I bring for the, because we also have this discussion on Instagram for one hour every Saturday, seven oh, to eight. Okay. I listen to them and I invite the things that they say. Mm. You know, so for me, it's, it's, um, it's not just entertainment, it's, 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 it's reformation, it's, it's, um, it's, it, we're trying to influence behaviors and we're trying to just make make Nigeria and the rest of the world a desirable place to live. Okay, before before we talk about the challenges, because I heard you well when you said uh, you said you like challenges a lot. You are just that one person that you don't like it when it's too comfortable. So we're going to talk about the challenges you faced in recording this. But then um, I would want to know how long is it going to be for the series? How long is it going to be, uh, be aired? Well, I mean, so what we're trying to do is that we're trying to tell a story for a month. So one story for a month for now. Let me tell you, let me tell you my dream. And I'm gonna say it out because when you say things, it happens, right? Yeah. I really I really desire to take this to, to the hands of the head. I want Hollywood actors to help me act the stories out. Um so that's the dream that I have. Um I'm not sure what the frequency will be at that point, but for now it's still once a month per season. Okay. At some point it might be a story for a 13 week episode. Um I, I, I don't know, but I know I'm just taking a step at a time. I, I one of the things I learned recently is to do things baby steps, you know, baby yes. steps. Don't, don't yeah, don't, don't kill jump. yourself, don't <laughs> fight what I can do. Baby steps, baby steps, and and that's pretty much what it's about. Okay. All right. So what, what were the challenges you faced? Because I know you have a lot that you're doing at the moment. So adding this to your table, I'm sure it didn't come that easy. So what were those challenges you faced, and how were you able to manage them? Well, Stimi, um, thank you for that question. I want to tell you this. I want to tell you this today, Stimi T. I have cried like four times today. Really? Yeah. Yes. You don't look like you. I mean, because I have to just clean on my face, right? <laughs> because I have a transaction that I'm working on. Customs held my goods. I was around your address yesterday. I cleared some goods yesterday. There's still some there. I wanted to, to move some 
do some foreign foreign transactions. There's a there's a there's a restriction on my account. Nobody has money. Nobody wants to borrow money. Nobody. It's it's crazy. Mm-hmm. The, my clients are on me. The churches that I'm supporting with equipment need the equipment for the service tomorrow. Mm-hmm. My guys are ready. Supposed to go to Boracot. So it's it's really overwhelming. You see, I shouldn't do this show. I shouldn't do this gig. But I hold it to you, and I hold it to the station. Thank you. To of, yeah, to, to, to honor it, because it's a big honor for them to call me to come and do this. Yeah. So what I'm doing to, today is not just fun. I'm doing it because I believe that someone is watching and someone is listening that this might help. Yeah. So Trinity, I'm telling you, those challenges are real. Mm-hmm. They are so real. The challenge to the challenge to shoot. I'll tell you what. When we shot this this particular episode, we shot it overnight. The day, the, during the day, we had a gig in the studio, right? Because I was doing here, we had a concert that we were recording, and it's a huge gig, right? Yeah. So, a day and two days before that gig, we were working like 24 hours. So, we had to go and shoot this episode, right? Mm. Let me tell you what was happening. I will be sleeping off and they call me to do my thing. <laughs> and I'm going to get off, get off and still do it. With headaches and everything. But because I just wanted to do it. So it's really, this is real, mm. right? It's a lot of work. And I and I salute, I salute all the actors there. I salute you guys. I can imagine what you're going through. I salute all those young girls and young boys that are doing skits on Instagram. Yeah. Everybody looks at them and they say influencer, influencer. I can imagine. <laughs> you what think they're it was very through. easy. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine what they're going through. Oh, God. Because I know what I'm going through. Mm. I know what it is to, 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 to be on the, to do entertainment, to manage family, to do business. And the truth of the matter is that you do so much and sometimes you don't even see the result, right? Yeah, exactly. Like you're not doing anything. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. But then you're a strong person, so I know all of this will pass. And uh, I think I should appreciate your uh, the series because I've seen a couple of them and I think it's really, really impacting. So I'm definitely going to look out for more. So don't even tell me because of the challenges now, you will not give us another one next month. We don't want to. Nice. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't keep, we don't keep moving on. Okay, so please let's talk about the time. For those that missed it uh, this morning, I know they have the opportunity to watch again for 3.55 today. The repeat mm-hmm. is going to be heard uh, this afternoon. Okay, right. so, so if they want to communicate, because it's watch and let's talk. So I'm sure we also have the right to talk to you when we want to, after watching. Absolutely. Okay, so when they are done watching, please, can you tell them where to go and uh, to relate uh, their feedback? All right, so like I said, every Saturday at 7 p.m. West African time, that's 7 p.m. Nigerian time, on my Instagram handle, we have a more elaborate discussion. Okay. Right? So it's good for everybody to join, and there they can also chip in their contributions. Um, also, it's on YouTube. Um, we've not had so much traffic on YouTube because I'm not. I'm trying to become a social media person. Mm-hmm. I think I'm old and I'm. Um, I'm trying to. I need some young people around me to help me out in that. Um, yeah. So it's on YouTube. It's on Instagram. You can drop your comments on on, on those places on those platforms. But you can also join the live conversation at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock p.m. Okay. Um, every Saturday. Well, on Instagram, that's at Ben Garden, okay. um, and we can we can join conversations, and we can always just spill uh, thoughts and uh, opinions. Okay, so it's been a good one having you on the show. I'm going to let you go right now. Let me say a thank very you. big thank you for coming or for showing up. <laughs> for showing up and then definitely for those that missed this one, I told you all, you can always watch the repeat of that for 3.55. Today, it's just for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And trust me, you're going to enjoy yourself. And you also get uh, you, you also get informed. I think that is very, very important. So I need to go right now. And I need to let you go. Mr. Gwenga, thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. Have a lovely thank weekend. Yeah, bye. Okay, so guys, I've, of course, I've been talking with uh, Mr. Benga Denuga, and I'm the producer for Watch and Let's Talk. Like I tell you, I said, it already starts in last week, maybe September 5. And of course, we air him again today, this morning for 11.55. So if you had missed it, at just 10 minutes, uh, you can always watch a repeat of that for uh, 3.55 again uh, this afternoon. And when you're done watching, you don't already tell you the platform when I feel go to go drop your comment. Because like he said, program now, watch and let's talk. So you guys can go there to relate with him. And you know, say when it comes to what TV, anything, any content we will bring, we know it's in our content. We don't go just entertain you guys, but also inform you guys. So if you had missed the previous episodes, please make sure you don't miss uh, the repeat of the air. 
this afternoon. So, you know, right, guys, thank you so much for joining me again this Saturday. Let's do it again as we start today. I love you guys. Have a fabulous evening. My name is Slimmy, and you're watching Wack TV. Thank you all. Bye.